redshirt sophomore will wrestle for Maryland against that top 10 wrestler that Joey mentioned. Rayvon Foley, a sophomore for Michigan State, ranked number eight in America right now. Foley, so far this year, 23 and one overall and 10 and 0 in dual meets, won via tech fall against Rutgers on Friday. Cray lost 16-4, major decision loss against number 13, Zeke Moisey of Nebraska last weekend. Cray looking for his first dual meet victory of the season. He's 0-6, 4-10 overall, but against such a strong wrestler like Foley, what do you think that Cray needs to do here? Uh, attack early and attack often. I mean, the, the more you attack, the more you, more you work to score. Uh, the more successful you will be out here. So no scoring early in this first period. Maryland under head coach Kerry McCoy in his 10th season. Michigan State with Roger Chandler at the helm in his fourth season. But his 23rd year on the Michigan State staff. A couple head coaches who were pretty good wrestlers back in their day. Chandler, a three-time All-American wrestler at Indiana, and McCoy an All-American at Penn State three times himself. Stalemate called here early in the first period between Cray and Foley. Cray from Hamilton, New Jersey. Foley, Ann Arbor, Michigan. So Ooh, nice misdirection, low single shot there for Brandon Cray. He comes up to his feet with that single leg. Great motion right there leading into that shot. And this is what you talked about, Cray being aggressive early against Foley. Cray continues to have a hold of that left leg of Rayvon Foley, the number eight ranked wrestler at 125, according to Flo Wrestling. Foley doing a good job balancing on that single. But Cray's gonna pick up that takedown on the edge of the mat. They're gonna go out of bounds, reset in the center with Foley and bottom. So a two nothing advantage for Cray after the takedown. Despite the fact that Cray has not won a dual meet match so far this season at 0-6, he's been competitive pretty much every time and it seems like he's been one takedown away from a victory a lot of times. But there goes a takedown for Foley after the escape. So he goes ahead 3-2, and now he starts to build riding time with 30 seconds left in the first period. Foley working on that arm bar right there. He's going to try and get a tilt. Now getting some back points here against Cray, and now you see how good of a wrestler Rayvon Foley is, the official with four fingers extended about to give him those four back points. And there they are, so it becomes 7-2 Foley as the first period comes to an end. He builds up 36 seconds of riding time at a 7-2 advantage. And there you saw a good start from Cray, but Foley can really put points on the board in a hurry. Foley last year, 28-11 overall, 13-4 in dual meets. Qualified for the NCAA tournament, just the third true freshman ever at Michigan State to qualify for the NCAAs. Now two more points for Foley, making it 9-2, already approaching major decision territory. He has 43 seconds of riding time as a stalemate is called, and Cray looks over to the bench for some inspiration from his head coach, Kerry McCoy. Very nice crowd on hand here at the Xfinity Center Pavilion for a late Sunday afternoon tilt. No football this weekend, so some people coming out to catch this dual meet between two Big Ten opponents. Good motion from Cray on bottom. If he keeps moving like that, he's probably going to end up getting out. Foley 
Foley working on Cray right now. His riding time up over a minute and 20 seconds. One minute left in the second period. Foley the best wrestler on this Michigan State group that got off to a hot start this season. 4-0 with wins against Buffalo, Indiana, SIU, Edwardsville, and West Virginia as the back points riding up here again for Rayvon Foley. Same tilt that he used earlier to get his set of back points as well. And now the whistle comes out. Four back points for Foley. He's ahead 13-2. to two. Michigan State has lost six consecutive dual meets since the 4-0 start, but obviously none of that the fault of the sophomore Rayvon Foley, ranked eighth in the country, 23-1 this year, 10-0 in dual meets, and he looks well on his way to going to 11-0. Now over two minutes of riding time for the sophomore from Ann Arbor with 20 seconds left in the second period and his lead at 13-2. He's looking to grab that wrist again. He wants to go with the same the same uh, tilt that he's been doing. He's got the wrist locked up. And now more back points as the second period goes to an end. Two back points for Rayvon Foley there. He's had 15 to two, two minutes left. That's what they put on the clock for the third period and you'd expect Foley to go for the pin now. I mean, yeah, if he gets a takedown That'll be a tech, I think. So he'd have to get a takedown straight to his straight uh, to Cray's back in order for that to happen. And there it is. The takedown makes it 17-2 tech fall victory for Rayvon Foley, the number eight ranked wrestler at 125. So a strong start for Michigan State.